right now the Denver Nuggets hold the third best record in the uh, Western Conference in the NBA. And I really believe they only have one elite player. And it's not a point guard, a wing player, or even a power forward. It's their center. And just because of that, I think Nikola Jokic should be considered as an elite NBA player. And I'll get into that in a bit. But to right now, it is July 10th, 2020 here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims. And for this installment of the Elite, I'm just going to talk about, yeah, I'm just going to talk about the Serbian giant that currently plays center, number 15 for the Denver Nuggets. So um, just to give you a little bit of, just to give you a little bit of insight, he played, uh, this dude played uh, basketball overseas. He was drafted. Uh, he was drafted in the two thousand fourteen draft. He was the forty first overall pick. He was nineteen years old, and of course, like he was like he, like he was over. He was overlooked by every single team in the first round. But he was picked up by the Nuggets, and I know for a fact that's going to be a draft pick the Nuggets are going to remember forever. Um, but before he came, he was the a- he was the ABA League MVP, and. His first year in the league, he would go on to average 10 points, 7 rebounds, 2.4 assists. Like, he wasn't really doing that much. He started 55 games, and the Nuggets would go on to finish 11th in the Northwest. Or they, fin- or they finished, like, 11th in the West. They didn't make the playoffs. The next two years, they finished 9th. And, of course, Jokic was finishing with 16.7 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists in his age 21 season. And then in his age twenty two season, the second year they went nine. They the second year they finished ninth. He finished with eighteen point five points, ten point five rebounds, and six point one assists, while still shooting eighty five percent from the free throw line, fifty percent from the field, and thirty nine percent from three. Like this was, this was right before Jokic cemented himself as one of the league's best. But it took him a couple of years, age twenty through twenty two. It took him a second to become the all around center in the middle of that. Nuggets offense but the next year was when he finally took off and in the 2018-19 season when Jokic was 23 he clinched his first all-star game because before that he'd only made the all-rookie team but after that 2018-19 he was an all-star he was named to the first team all-nba as well as he averaged 20 points a game he averaged 10.8 rebounds 7.3 assists while shooting 51 percent from the field 30.7% 30.7% from three and uh, 82% from the free throw line. He was doing all this at center. The Nuggets finished with the second best record in the West. They finished 54 and 28. They would beat the Spurs in the first round and they would lose to the Trailblazers in the conference semis. And this was Jokic's first year in the playoffs. And he was the only all star on that Nuggets team. As good as Jamal Murray is and as good as Paul Millsap was, like, the Nuggets weren't that good until Nikola Jokic flipped the switch. And once he flipped the switch, it was over. And he was only 23 when he did that. I think that I think that in itself warrants elite status. And even in his age 24 season, he they only played 65 games to the season. Jokic was named an all-star naturally. This is his second all-star. They haven't named all NBA teams because the season hasn't finished yet. He finished this season with 20.2 points, 10.2 rebounds, 6.9 assists. While shooting 53% from the field, 31% from three, and 81% from the free throw line. And as of right now, like I said, the Nuggets have the third best record in the West. Um, behind the Lakers and the Clippers, and they're a, they're, a game ahead, they're a game and a half ahead of the Jazz. Like, that's where they sit. And with this, with this team, I, I, I love the way Jokic has this team situated around him. Um, he's one of the few big men in basketball. He doesn't have to, he doesn't bring the ball up, but the offense runs through him because he's such an elite passer. Probably picked that up while playing in Europe. And he's not the he's not you know, he's not the most athletic guy in the court, but this guy can make passes all the way down the court. He'll make one handed water polo full court passes just like on the fast break. And of course, he's a center. He'll play the middle, and he has eyes in the back of his head, and he can pass it literally anywhere on the court. Especially with players like Jamal Murray, Monte Morris. Gary Harris, Will Barton, Torrey Craig, Michael Porter Jr., Will Barton, Paul Millsap, Jeremy Grant, Mason Plumley, like around him, and they and they still have Bull Bull in their system. I like the way this team is built around Nikola Jokic. Right now, he's out with the he's day to day with the coronavirus. That's where we are right now. Um, 
No, but as an individual talent, he's one of the he's one of the players where it's like the proof is in the pudding that he makes his team better. The Nuggets would not be a playoff like they weren't a playoff team until Nikola Jokic really like until Nikola Jokic really took over, and you can't really attribute that to any other player that's on that team. As good as the Nuggets are, they should have more than one elite player. But to me, Nikola Jokic is that only elite player because even just watching him play, like I personally like watching him play. He can shoot off any foot. Like I said, he can make any pass on the court. Like he he makes basketball look fun. Like he he makes it look fun, and he makes a lot of his plays look very easy when considering. Like they're they're definitely not. Um. So I like him. He's only he's twenty five years old, and he's gonna be a center who uses his footwork and his passing more than his athleticism. So he's probably gonna he's 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 probably gonna be another player that lasts for a long time. Like I'd say for the next ten years, keep an eye on Nikola Jokic. I wouldn't be surprised if the Nuggets snuck a championship. He's definitely good enough to be the best player on a championship team, but his team has to be a lot better than it is right now. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of faith in Nikola Jokic. I think he's the best center in the NBA. And he has so much of his career left. So if you ever get a chance to watch the Nuggets, watch. Like if you like what Luka John, if you like what Luka Doncic does as a wing, I think you'd like what Nikola Jokic does as a center. And I think they're very similar players to me. But with that, um, I appreciate you for listening to all six, seven minutes of this. But I really think Nikola Jokic is elite. There's not much more I can really say. If you're a basketball fan, basketball fans agree that Nikola, that, that Nikola Jokic is a very elite player. Get a chance to watch him. He's the only player on the Denver Nuggets to me that I feel like is really worth just like, other than like, because like that, that as of right now, I would consider an elite player amongst the elite players that qualify for the National Basketball Association. So with that, I'm going to peace out. I wish all is well. And yeah. Have a good one.